Well, on this pool, we're almost complete. We need our painter to drop by and put another coat of paint on our shade arbor. Our electrician needs to drop by and install all of our landscape lights, but the guy that has the biggest job is Jack Willard, who's putting together the puzzle that'll end up being our waterfall. Now, Jack, when you approach something like this, just how do you even get started? Well, you've really got to know what the customer is looking for, what size limitations they've got, and quite frankly, how much money they want to spend on it. Sure, yeah, I know that's a big part of it. And of course, um, I looked through all kinds of magazines and found a picture that was close to what I wanted. I guess that's probably a good idea for homeowners to at least show you something. Gives us something to start with. Okay, all right, now, you have um, spent yesterday um, putting a lot of the um, cinder blocks in here. What purpose do that, does that really serve? This gives us a foundation without using up all of these stones. We could have used stones, but we would have used everything and it would have all been hidden. Right. In this right. case, we're using ugly old blocks that will be covered up anyway. Okay, and a little less expensive than using yes. the stones that, that can get fairly expensive because they're um, kind of hard to come by and they're very heavy. Anytime you have a heavy building material, it really starts getting expensive. That's right. Now, um, you've got a variety of different shapes and sizes here. I guess that's really necessary in order to get that natural look to the waterfall. That's right. In nature, everything's not exactly the same, and no two waterfalls are exactly the same. Uh, the, the stones aren't numbered, so it's going to look different than anything you've ever seen. Okay, now later on, I guess you start at the bottom and keep building it up. You've got the, the water line here. How will you handle that once the waterfall is complete? As far as on the top? Right. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to spill over a couple of different directions, and then basically we'll start channeling into different waterfalls. You'll wind up with multiple actual falls, some taller, some smaller, and that gives you different sounds uh, as the water drops into different pools of, of water. I see. Okay. I guess this is just kind of an artistic endeavor. It's uh, just to uh, work with it a little bit and keep going. Very much so. Okay. Well, you got a lot of work to do here. <laughs>